On this day in 1895, German physicist Willem Conrad Röntgen becomes the first person to observe X-rays, heralding a major scientific advancement that would ultimately benefit a variety of fields, but mostly medicine. On this day in 1864, Northern voters overwhelmingly endorsed the leadership and policies of President Abraham Lincoln when they elect him for a second term. With his re-election, any hope of a negotiated settlement with the Confederacy vanished. On this day in 1887, gunslinger, gambler and occasional dentist and participant of the shootout at the OK Corral in Tombstone, John Henry Doc Holliday, dies from tuberculosis. On this day in 1960, John F. Kennedy becomes the youngest man ever to be elected as President of the United States when he narrowly beat Republican Vice President Richard Nixon. He was also the first Catholic to become President. Adolf Hitler, President of the far-right Nazi Party, launches the Bear Hall Push, his first attempt at seizing control of the German government, on this day in 1923. And on this day in 1939, on the 16th anniversary of his Bear Hall Push, an attempt is made on Hitler's life. A bomb explodes just after he had finished giving a speech. He was unharmed. For his actions on this day in 1965 in Vietnam, Specialist 5 Lawrence Joel, a medic with the 1st Battalion, 503rd Airborne Infantry, 173rd Airborne Brigade, earns the Medal of Honor, becoming the first African American since the Spanish American War to receive America's highest award for valor. South African swimming star Penny Haynes was born on this day in 1974. She won gold in both the 100 and 200 meter breaststroke at the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta. And finally on this day in 1922, South African surgeon and heart pioneer Chris Barnard is born. Barnard performed the world's first successful heart transplant in 1967 in Cape Town, South Africa. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and tune in tomorrow for another This Day in History.